Welcome to episode 64. Tonight we're going to wrap up the story and talk about how now this port is now open as a museum. After the port closed and fell into decay for a period of time, the prison was eventually converted into a historical landmark destination where visitors can take a nighttime tour using lanterns and explore the decrypt buildings and get a sense of what life may have been like when the inmates, prison guards, and staff had to live and endure during its heyday in what many have called it the most hellish prison on earth. Reports of ghost sightings that goes way back to 1870 with apparitions appearing and being displayed at the visitor center, mostly that of inmates that have died there and prison staff and guards that were killed there during the prison's heyday, or should I say, during the dark times. Among the visitors to the colony is, is that of Byron, a local tsunami who had a history of psychological and behavior problems, apparently angry and despondent over financial situation, he opened fire at the cop only ground cafe, killing 33 people and injuring 25, and one of Australia's most horrific events in Australia history. Byron was eventually captured the next day and confessed and was given a 35 light sentence, which led to the tightening of gun control in the country. Not sure what possessed Byron to do such a thing, but we do know for a fact that this prison, abandoned or not, is definitely the most haunted and hellish places on earth. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Join me again as we travel back to California and explore the Winchester Mansion. And until next time, stay classy.